The Secret of Monkey Island is a 1990 video game produced by LucasArts, a point-and-click graphic adventure in which players solve intricate puzzles to complete the whole story. The protagonist is Guybrush Tripwood, an aspiring pirate searching for adventures on many islands. This work is a mixture between Caribbean and voodoo, with a twist of circus and amusement parks. Michael Lance soundtracks in MIDI format are reggae and Caribbean inspired. All symphonies are in a seamless loop, like the one of a scumbar. Do you know that this song is from an ancient popular version from the UK of Udel Tawat Madalin? The landlord, he looks very big with his high cocked hat. Its popularity is clearly based on its bucolic nature, sung at convivial assemblies. William Chappell, the famous English writer for music and partner of Chappell & Co, the company that manufactured pianos in popular music of the olden time of 1859, assigned this song to the first part of the 18th century. The Anglican priest, Sabin Baring Good, folk song collector in all English songs from English minstrelsy of 1895, claimed that this melody was written in the repertoire of the famous clown Joseph Grimaldi, descendant of the Genoese family Grimaldi. It is certain that the first written source of its lyrics is of 1790 in the Banquet of Telia or the fashionable songster's pocket memorial, an elegant collection of the most admired songs. In 1916, the famous English singer and actor Ernest Bacha released his vocal version for HMV, his master's voice. Monkey Island's ambience is inspired by the attraction Pirates of the Caribbean at Disneyland. Dick Grossman, writer of the series, reminded in an interview that his colleague Ron Gilbert had always wondered what it would have been like to step off the ride and talk to the people who lived in that world. An example of this inspiration is the video game sequence where Walt the Dog, named after Walt Disney, held the prison key, while Guybrush tries to track him through sticks and bones, just like in the attraction at Disneyland. The Walt Disney Company itself paid tribute to the secret of Monkey Island in the movie series Pirates of the Caribbean. Captain Jack Sparrow, Johnny Depp, uses a coffin as a roaring boat, like Guybrush in the video game. Moreover, both movie and video game feature a mysterious Caribbean voodoo woman who lives in the swamp. Indeed, Pirates of the Caribbean and The Secret of Monkey Island are similar in many ways, considering that they are both inspired by the novel of Tim Powers on Stranger Tides of 1987. The plot is a typical pirate adventure set in the Caribbean Sea of 1718. The young John Chandagnac, called Jack Shandy, embarks on a ship where he meets Elizabeth Hoovood, a copper and wrinkled haired girl. But quote, during the journey, pirates take possession of their ship. Among them, there is Governor Sony, a man with a bird and long, ropey hair of the color of old bones. His face is dark, all leather, stretched toe to over a skull. When he walks, he limps. All of these descriptions correspond to the characters of Elaine Marley and Lechak in The Secret of Monkey Island. The resemblance with the video game continue. In the prologue, Benjamin Hoovood, Elizabeth's father, goes to the Isle de Loas Bossas, which means Island of the Untamed Coast. After going through the wild jungle, he performs a voodoo ritual, which brings to the earthy world human shaped forms that are nearly transparent to the torchlight. Actually, Hoovood wants to bring back to life his wife Margaret, using his daughter's body as an empty vessel ready to be filled. This plot also results similar to Pirates of the Caribbean 
The Curse of the Black Pearl and Pirates of the Caribbean on Stranger Tides. Jack Sparrow shares the same name of Jack Shandy, and the characters of Elizabeth Swan and Angelica Teach are inspired by Elizabeth Hoovood, just like Hector Barbosa reminds of Jack and Governor Sony. However, there is a huge difference between Elaine Marley and Elizabeth Hoovood. Elizabeth is the classic damsel in distress, while our Governor of Melee is a proud independent woman. The iconic scene in which Luchak is about to marry Elaine, but when he lifts the bridal veil, he discovers that the wedding dress is animated by two monkeys, is inspired by a scene in On Stranger Tides. The bride was just an empty but animated dress. The groom, it was impossible to be sure that it was human, for the skin, leading flesh, it consisted of might be man like in form only because of the constriction of the clothes. This description is the one of a wedding to a living dead Chuck, in reference to the character's close-ups in the video game, while C. Purcell was the responsible in the original EGA version, Ian McKay was responsible for the beautiful VGA counterparts. If you are curious to know more about these two people, nowadays C. Purcell is a story developer for Pixar, while Ian McKay have been involved in Star Wars prequels, Hook, Harry Potter, and the Marvel franchise. In his interview for Mixed Mojo, Ian McKay claims, in reference to the secret of Monkey Island's close-ups, it's hard to believe today, but I actually painted this with a mouse. Yep, a mouse. Wacom tablets were not a thing yet. Using a mouse, was about as precise as painting with a bar of soap, yet here they are, complete with tiny highlights in their eyes. Just shows what you can do when you don't know any better. Henry Larison set him as a model for the character of Lynn Marley, but he didn't mean to create a straight portrait. Lastly, the legend wants from Gibet to be on vacation in Bayon, in Rotten Book of the Taba, and then ask Mark Ferrari, visual artist, to reproduce it in The Secret of Monkey Island. Indeed, there is a place in Mele that reminds of the plumb line, the flat square in Rottenburg. The two towers standing there are the silver store, the sieve door, of 1385, built in just one year, and Cobalt Cellar Door of 3060. The Cobalt Cellar Tor secured the entrance to the town from the Tober Valley. Built from dressed quarry stones, the Seabest Tor protected the southern gate until the infirmary quarter was incorporated within the tower fortifications in the 14th century. While Seabest Tor appears in Monkey Island, Cobalt Cellar Tor does not really since Mark Ferrari accidentally depicted its incomplete form of 1204. As a matter of fact, these doors were built during the first expansion of the town in that year, but their towers were erected almost two centuries later. This was probably after the 1356 Basel earthquake that destroyed many places in Rotterdam, like the old castle, featured on the town's coat of arms, Rottenburg was named after this building. The red castle on the tower, river that runs through it. The building was where nowadays there is the town's garden, or Murgarten. However, reality is slightly different from the legend. In Raw Gibbet's opinion on Twitter, the resemblance between Mel and Rottenburg is just an odd creepy coincidence. At the time of the secret of Monkey Island, he had never been there. McFerrari tweeted, what? No, pure coincidence. Every pixel of Monkey Island art is entirely original. I would never have employed photo reference, ever. Then he added, hypothetically, I actually have no idea where I might have come across a photo of that place over 30 years ago, but your resemblance does seem uncanny, so I think I must have found one photo. Didn't have Google's images then, but I did own a huge scrap file. To sum up, mystery remains. However, Rotten Book said for real as an inspiration to someone, Walt Disney, to be precise, 
for Pinocchio Sambians. Read the article on my blog, Gabriel.wordpress.com.